Welcome everyone, this is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty. If you wanna learn how to maintain crochet braids so that they keep their style, then subscribe and stay tuned. I wear a satin bonnet every night and this is my hair after one week. I haven't washed it yet. Sometimes um, I'll wait until two weeks uh, of crochet hair wearing before I wash it. So if you want a, a video on how I wash my hair, let me know. But I'm just separating it here and it looks pretty good for one week. The products are linked in the description below. Here I just use a really light oil to spray my hair and scalp. And um, this oil is light enough and you, you, that you can also use it on crochet hair too. Then I use Motions Wrap Lotion to just kind of um, soften my edges. And then I top that with Eco Styler Gel, which goes on, um, ends up looking white the way I layer products, but it'll dry clear, trust me. And I use that to just kind of lay my edges down. All right, and then I use a little edge brush just to make sure that they look nice. I'm not deep into the designs, but I'm <laughs> trying to do a little something. Spray a little spritz so it dries faster, and then I use um, wrapping strips to lay my edges down so they can dry while I do other things. Okay, so now I'm going to um, take my hair in sections. I'm going to start with like the bottom third. And this is when I get out my scissors. And I'm going to start cutting any pieces that have become really frayed or really frizzy. It's not a bad idea to leave some of them behind because, you know, real hair is not perfect. So your crochet braids don't have to be absolutely perfect. But if it's something that stands out to me that probably would be better if it wasn't there, I will cut it out. Okay, so here coming up, I'm gonna slow the video down so that you can see my technique. I take the scissors and then I'll actually slide them up the piece that is frizzy just to kind of isolate it out of the hair. See how I slide the scissors up? And then I cut it out. So there'll be a little piece at the top, but it pretty much gets that hair out without me cutting any of the hair that doesn't need to be cut. So that that's my method that I use um, just to make sure I get any of those really really frizzy or really razzled pieces out and you know that happens because crochet hair is not real hair um you know it it can kind of get pulled out of shape and things like that with with the wear and tear so just to maintain it um you know you want to cut the majority of those pieces out as you go along or at least that's what i do um i just go ahead and cut them out and that works for me I think that's part of the fun, fun of crochet hair because it's not real hair so I feel like I have the liberty to just kind of like mess in it and cut it and shape it how I want and it's kind of like guilt free cutting which I always think is fun. Alright back to the motions wrap lotion so I'm just going to use some and I'm going to go throughout my hair and just kind of um, finger comb it throughout my hair. And although it's not real hair, the wrap lotion, again, really helps to just kind of refresh the look of it. It's almost like it helps the crochet hair to clump together and it gives it a little bit of sheen. So I tend to do this a couple times a week. And when I do that, it, it helps me just find a couple more frizzy pieces. So I went through one more time and just did a, a little more cutting just of pieces that, that were standing out. Okay, you can see how much I cut out after one week wear. That's how much I cut out. So it's looking pretty good and fresh. All right, and I quickly did my makeup, which is actually a separate video called How to Do Easy Soft Glam Makeup That Goes Well With Everything. And I'll link it above in case you want to check it out. Cut off my wrap strips. And now you can see my edges are clear because the product dried is mostly clear. So it was mostly dry. I put a little more bronzer around the top where the strip was and I'm good. Thanks for watching and for great beauty and hair videos, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned.